Good afternoon, good evening, welcome to Game Night! Howdy, Woo! howdy, howdy! I would say it's Rise and Shine with Sea Lake Journeys, but that was this morning. It's not Rise and Shine with Sea Lake Journeys. <laughs> oh boy, I'm about 12 hours behind. It is not Rise and Shine with Sea Lake Journeys. Well, does everybody have their popcorn and their drink ready? I got my monster. How about that? I got my margarita. Oh, good thing she's using the small glass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Almost made her spit it out. You see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, who do we have in here tonight? I'll tell you what. The first, I don't know who the first one is, but I know Law Jones is here. Hey, Hi, Law, Law Jones. Jones. Nice to have you with us. Yeah. And Eddie Lugo is in the house. Hello, yo, yo, Eddie. Yo, Eddie. And we have Alice. Hi, Alice. Alice in Wonderland. Alice. Hi, Alice. And my sister from another Mr. Travel or Bust. Travel or Bust. I love saying that. My sister bust. from another Mr. Travel or Bust. Bust it, baby. Bust it. Yeah. <laughs> get those salutes up because Mark, Mark the shark. shark is in the house. Woo! How about that? Woo <laughs> and we have Aaron Smith is with us. Hi, Aaron. So nice to have you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And, and the Cruise Nuts. That's right. Mike and Tracy. Who are quite nutty. Nutty, nutty, nutty. If you like crazy things, you came to the right place tonight. We've got another <laughs> game show here for you. Get your A's and your B's out. Did you get our A's and B's out? I got them. So let's some... finish saying hi to everybody. Oh, yeah, keep on. So we have yeah. Lori Barber is in the house. Hey, and Lori. Hello, Lori. Woohoo! And Holly is here, <laughs> one of our lovely moderators. And Eddie Lugo is also a moderator, but he's just not lovely. Well, he is I, kind of. And Law hey, Jones. You can't talk that way about my leg, baby. My and leg, Law baby, Jones, daddy. Law Jones is not lovely either. So. Eddie's my leg, baby, daddy. Don't talk about him like that. <laughs> That's right, my leg, baby, daddy. How is his baby daddy's leg doing? Yeah, take care of my leg there, Eddie. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. And we have the glorious Gaylors is with us. All right. And Tony G, 1975. 1975. Woo-hoo. That was a good year. I know, right? I remember 1975. Me too. And Cruise Day Fun is here. Hello, Cruise Day Fun. Cruise Day Fun. Woo-hoo. We have someone new that we want everyone to welcome on board with a lovely hoop-ha, hoorah. Welcome to the gang. And that's Becky. Put her name up there. Woo-hoo. That's Becky. Becky. Dharma Gray. You get a squeaky toy. So, hi, Becky. We're so glad that you've joined the Sea Leg Journey crew. We just love having you. Yes, we do. And, and Joy, uh, Joy, I hope you're not disappointed, but she has a margarita here, not a mango yeah, surprise. Yeah, no mango surprise tonight. Tonight, it's a, it's a little margarita. Yeah, you should have seen her big one she had earlier. <laughs> Let's okay. spit it out again, didn't I? I'm almost. And um, Law Jones says, wow, Robin, that's some drink. Yeah, you should have seen the big one, Law. So when I start going, she's hammering. <laughs> yeah. We do not promote the use of alcohol. Aaron Smith says, So it's Bob the Builder starring a Sea Lake Journey crew <laughs> as Bob. I love Something it, love like it, that. But it. hey, all of you guys are going to be doing the building. That's why you get your That's A's. Right. Your A finger and your B finger out and get ready to help us build this incredible <laughs> cruise port. It's going to be fantastic. Oh, That's I'm so right. excited about it. I could just yodel right now. Yep. Mm. And Law Jones says, yeah, get her a big drink more often. <laughs> <laughs> and Renee is joining us. Hello, Renee. Renee. And is the wifey here too? I hope so. Because we're going to have some fun up in here. And, hey, Traveler Bus says that my cup is just the right size. Just Boys, right y'all going to have to be quiet down there. The dogs are having a good time already. They started without us. <laughs> I think she spilled some of drinking their bowl or something and becky's telling everyone thank you for the warm welcome and we just appreciate you so let's see um it's time to it's time to get the rules of the game yes but before you yeah you're going to tell the rules and then i'll read my intro mm -hmm, right? okay mm -hmm. and then we'll start the game uh, let's have it see what becky has to say here. i just found you and watched a few videos love the marriage game oh I'm so glad you like the yes. marriage game Thank show. You. So Saturday night is our game night and um, it's never the same game. Sometimes the games are a little similar, but they're never the same game. Oh, and next uh, Saturday, by the way, while we're here on the 22nd, yes. we're going to go ahead and do our Halloween game show. Yeah, Halloween. So we, we have some ideas being tossed around and let me just do this real quick while Chet tells you about the pictures. 
I'll tell you about the pictures. What about the pictures? That they're going to email. Oh, yeah. Hey, if you want to email us a picture of you in your Halloween costume, we're going to put them up that night. Uh, next Saturday night. We'll, so we're going to have your picture up. And so send us a Halloween costume. And we'll put you up on the show in a photograph. Yes. How about so that? We're going to be in our Halloween costumes. And you guys yes. be in your Halloween costumes. And if we get enough pictures, we're going to have the pictures as part of the game show. Yeah. <laughs> we're not sure exactly how we're going to do it yet. Nope. But we're working on it. But you know us. We come up with these last minute spur of the moment. And have if any of you have seen our shorts today, we put out two shorts today. Um, and uh, well, I thought you said shirts. I was like, oh, no, no, this is a nice shirt. Shorts. 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 Oh, yeah. Little short videos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't want to miss that one. I'm trying to climb the ladder of success. Yes. Chet is trying to climb the ladder of success because YouTube mm -hmm. says we all need to have handle now. Yes. Um, and Law and Holly says, don't forget to give us that oh, thumbs, thumbs up, up everybody yes. and share our channel on any platform that you'd like to share our channel on. We would love to have your you and your friends and family as part of the Sea Leg Journey crew. OK, OK, so here now comes the rules, rules of the game. Everybody ready for the rules? I'm now ready. Pay attention. I'm ready. We have a lot of rules. Tonight. A lot. <laughs> They're very important rules, too. You better pay really close attention to the rules. OK, here we go. Here we go. Rules for the comfort of all guests, there will be no smoking anywhere at the port. No we're smoking. So, yeah, I know, I'm, we're so sorry for that. Oh. Screaming shall be kept below the threshold of glass shattering, please. Yes, because broken glass can be hazardous to people if they step on it. So when you scream, keep the octaves low, please. Remember to use reef friendly sunscreen to avoid those painful sunburns. Make sure to add an le extra layer of protection to protect your delicate skin from the sea monster nibbles. <laughs> <laughs> Life and travel insurance is highly recommended. Policies can be purchased at the excursion desk 24 hours a day, seven days a week for your convenience. Hmm. Now, before choosing your answer, make the answer will be up here. Ugh. Before choosing your answer, your answer choices will appear on the screen in a brief description. But don't choose your answer too quickly because Chet is going to give you a thorough explanation of each of the choices. We do suggest that you choose your choices wisely because unlike the last game, this is not a group effort. You may be out off on your own. <laughs> yeah, so every choice counts tonight. How about that? How about that? So, a brief description of our port as we begin the, the, the game. Our port isn't for everybody, okay? It's for people who want a truly one-of-a-kind, possibly once-in-a-lifetime experience. It's for people whose love for life and family is exceeded only by their love for reckless and dangerous activities. <laughs> this, port, <laughs> this port is for people willing to take irresponsible chances for an opportunity to win a plastic port on a stick or possibly redeem that life insurance policy for their beneficiaries. <laughs> Come along if you dare to the one of a kind port only our collective imaginations can create. Join us in the chat with your A's or your B's and help us create a new port, a better port, <laughs> a port that we can call our own. <laughs> we are the Sea Lake Journeys crew. So let's get Busy! Busy! Okay, let me see some of this intro. I got some questions about this. Okay. Wait just a minute, okay? <laughs> okay. It's, <laughs> it's well, I, you have to break it down for me again. What the, about the reckless and dangerous activities? And reckless and dangerous activities? Irresponsible choices? <laughs> Okay, wait a minute. We're all responsible. Beneficiaries get involved? <laughs> Bene beneficiaries are involved? Look, this is like a legal document. It explains itself, okay? Okay, so so that y'all know, I know all of the answers that would be going up because I created the, um, the slide presentation for the answers. I have no clue what the questions are. So get your A's and B's ready, and let's see what's going on in the chat here just really quick because... Law Jones said, Law Jones says, please keep your hands inside the car at all times and seatbelts fastened. <laughs> you after got all, it right, brother. Tony, you got it right. After all, Tony G is already breaking a rule and he's, he's smoking. smoking. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's okay, Tony. You're not at the port. You just got to smoke 
you know, you on that little, what's that little ramp there before you get to the port? And then, you know. Yeah, yeah the pier. Yeah. Mark the Shark's giving us thumbs up and yes. air hearts. Okay. And Eddie Lugo says, this sounds like trouble already. <laughs> and Aaron Smith says, remember, the wind wants your hat, but the sea doesn't. Keep your hat secured on your head. <laughs> Yeah, together we, together we Travels joined us. Hello, guys. So nice to have you. And we're ready for our first question. And together we're going to build this island, y'all. How about this? I mean, this port. So okay. it's game night. So first thing we got to do is name our port, right? Right. Let's, let's name our port. Okay. Our port is going to be called A, Davy Jones's Foot Locker, or B, Little Crab Leg Retreat. Now you get to decide which one of those names you like best. Do you like Davy Jones's Foot Locker or B, Little Crab Leg Retreat? Where's my letters? There's your letters. Oh, my letters. So this one has no explanation, right? I think I'm going to go with, it because it sounds cute, Little Crab Leg Retreat. Well, I'm kind of digging the Foot Locker thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Um, <laughs> Well, hold on a second. The chat just jumped. I am so sorry. So Eddie Lugo says, there goes that leg. <laughs> <laughs> ah! So Tony G says B. Alice says B. Holly says B. Travel or bus. We all like the cute name because we're trying to go safely because you said we needed life insurance and beneficiaries. So everybody's going with it. Yeah, everybody's going with that little beater, a little crab leg. Oh, Traveler, okay. bus says B. Eddie says B. Mark says B. Cruise Fun B. Gaylord's B. Law B. Renee A. Renee's going off on the deep end. Renee's always voting with me. <laughs> Hold on, Renee. Uh, Aaron Smith says B because Davy Jones. I got to put this up here. B because Davy Jones sounds once in a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> Tony G says choose A, which could be a trademark infringement. <laughs> <laughs> and Traveler Bus thought that was cute. And Becky, she is choosing B. Okay, so are we ready for question number two? Oh my goodness! Now listen, we'll rest them here. We'll require better descriptions okay so that was the only one that didn't have much of a description yeah because it's just simply a name but now we we've, we've all got our name you know what the name of your uh, so port remember is. the name of your port because now our port has so many fun things to do like for instance a the oh, water slide sorry oh, oh there you go our port has so many fun things to do like a the water slide for your life with electric eels for a, <laughs> for a truly shocking experience <laughs> Water slide for your life with electric eels. It's a truly shocking experience. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and what is B? B is the snake pit crawl with your choice of vipers, rattlesnakes, cobras, water moccasins, and many others to choose from. You can pick two for an extra charge. <laughs> okay, so do I want a water slide for life with an electric eel, or do I want to go in a snake pit crawl with my choice of deadly snakes? Hmm. I think I'm going for the water slide. I'm sliding in the water too. <laughs> Didn't Ace Freely sing, shock me, make me feel better. <laughs> so Eddie, Eddie is doing great. Eddie is a new moderator and he's got the slashes up there. You go, Eddie. Oh, yeah, Awesome Eddie. job, Eddie. I didn't so, even think about that. Um, Lori Barber on the last one said B. So let's oh, see. B, okay. Aaron said, this is, um, I'm going to put the ones up that are longer and you read them. Oh, yeah. Tony, uh, Aaron Smith says Tony G75. And apparently our law, lawyer ball game needs to be on point. Laugh out loud. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Eddie is sliding with the eels. Uh, the Gaylords with the eels. Mark the shark A. Alice A. Renee B. Renee always goes for the danger. She's she just. She's danger queen, man. I knew I picked the wrong one. I should have picked B, too. <laughs> Law is A. Lori Barber is B. Holly is B. Tony G is A. Traveler bust. Hmm. Can we pass? <laughs> 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 There's no passing in these games, you guys. You've got to pick one. Yeah. After all, you spent your money already. It's shipboard credit. <laughs> if you don't know, the rest of the people from the cruise ship are going to be standing around going, bark, 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 bark. So she says, okay, fine. They're going to choose A. There Eddie's you go. just laughing. Aaron says A, and Becky says A. Okay, so most so of the people want to Most of the eel. people want to slide with the eels. There's a few that are going to pick snakes. Well, you know, I, I, I thought that was a good choice. Good choices there. 
Okay, so you ready for next next Let's part? Let's move of our along board. to number three. Number three. You know this port's going to be exciting, isn't it? <laughs> It's exciting already. <laughs> well, you know, we don't want to forget the kids, do we? So, mm -hmm. hey, our port also has a tar pits for tots, a children's playground. Drop them off, pick them up later, or dig them, or let somebody else dig them up a few thousand years later. What? <laughs> yeah, at the tar pits for tots, it's a children's playground. <laughs> Children have been playing there for thousands of years. And what is go with the flow? Oh, answer B here, right, is go with the flow, where you can race hot lava down the side of an active volcano. This activity is not recommended for people with mobility issues. <laughs> <laughs> and what is it not, not ready for people with mobility issues? Go uh, with the flow. You can race hot lava down the side of an active volcano. Yeah, because if you have mobility issues, you're going to lose. <laughs> well, I'll tell you I, what. I think I'm going to go with the tar pits. But I, I do know some children that would like to be dug up thousands of years from now as a fossil. Well, so Pelican's Perch was a pretty good place. Tar pits for tots. I don't know. It sounds a little sticky to me. <laughs> so I'm going to go with the flow. I don't care. Mobility issues. Mobility no, issues are not your going. I'm going. Oh, good grief. And so, hopefully Renee is going to help me out here. <laughs> Meg jumped in. She's a little bit late, but hello, Meg. Hey, Meg. I didn't think you were going to be here. We thought that you were going to be. I thought you were flying on a, or flying on the plane back. She was just dropping people That's off. That's right. At the she was dropping yeah. people off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so Alice says, B. That saliva. Oh, we got a lot of bees. We got a lot of people that are not afraid of their mobility issues. That's right. Alice is B. Eddie is B. Meg is B. Mark is B. Eddie Lugo is just saying hi to Meg. Uh, <laughs> everybody's saying hi to Meg. Um, Tony says B. Um, Cruise Day Fun says A. The only person with me on A, on A so far is Cruise Day Fun. My goodness. Um, and Eddie says, oh, oh shoot. shoot, then I got to go with, hey, hey. No, Mo, no, Eddie, you don't have to. Come on, look at me. I'm the, I'm the <laughs> handicap. I'm going. Come on, Lori, you go with me, man. Lori Barber says she's going with B all the way. Right all on, way. Lori, right on. Holly's got B. Um, Law Jones said, this is Law Jones. He says, I'll take B, the tots, P, and the tar pits. <laughs> that, you know what, Law? You got a squeaky for that one, brother. Uh, yeah. Becky says B. Uh, one of our new friends is in the chat tonight. Good night, hey, Ryan. Hi, Ryan. So nice to have you with us. So we're playing the A's. It's, Get it's your A's and B's show. out. A and B is the is the um, only choices you have for answers. Remember, there are no wrong answers, only fun answers. That's right. No right or wrong, just fun. Mm. And Traveler Bus says they're going with B. Can I, oh, but can I put my adult children in the tar pits for tots? <laughs> Yes. There's no age limit, so why not? Yes. My adult children are going to be in there well, along with my, my grandchildren. Maybe all but one of my grandchildren. I won't tell which one grandchild it'll be. Either. Oh, that's yes. my favorite one. My favorite one. We'll yeah. have to go in the targets. They know which one's my favorite one, don't they? Yeah, that's right. Uh, Meg says that she just got off the train and now she's back home. Well, we're glad that you made it back safe. And thank hey. you for all that you did, you did to get people down there. Yeah, what a great thing they did. They just went down there and sent everybody off on the Carnival Horizon, I think mm -hmm. it was, out of Miami with a whole crew of people. Uh, yeah, that would be an exciting cruise right there. That's right. That's right. Okay, so get our slashes up, moderator. Uh, at the Eddie's doing a great job with the slashes. So we'll let Meg lay back and not be so busy, and we'll let Eddie take care of the slashes. So what's the next one? The next one is number four. Our port has excursions. Woo! Can you believe that? Now, which excursion do you want to do today? Do you okay. want to, A, kayak with the sharks? What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> I lose a leg. <laughs> I kayak with the sharks. I got a great souvenir. I got my picture taken with it and everything. <laughs> hey, you know. Or B, if you don't like kayaking with sharks, you can be chicken fight with, on rhinos. That's right. This could possibly be the dumbest thing you ever do. <laughs> chicken fights on rhinos. I'm going to be pretty bold on this one. I think I'm going to chicken fight with a rhino because number one, I'd love to ride on a rhino. And number two, I think in my, my rhino is going to be a lot better than somebody else's rhino. Well, I'll tell you what, anything that, that the qualifying statement for it is in the description <laughs> that says this could possibly be the dumbest thing you ever do. <laughs> You know I'm picking that. This is like I'm the poster child for that. Okay, so here comes the answers. You ready? 
Mark the Shark says A. Eddie says B. Meg says A. <laughs> wait, wait. Alice... Mark the Shark said A? Mark the Shark said A. What's, what's the phone, Mark? Come on. <laughs> Meg, Meg said A, Alice said B, uh, Lori, she's just laughing. She can't even choose an answer because she's laughing so hard. The gay lords say B, um, Holly says B, Mark says he swim with me. Hey! Hey! Last time I swam with you, Mark, look what happened to me, man. I went down and swam with the sharks and I mean. Traveler Bus says they're going with B because it sounds like it's going to be super fun. Hey, anything uh, that's just the right dumbest thing you, you could ever do, you know, hey. Tony says A, Aaron says B, Lol Jones says hmm, on, on, yes, on the rhino. <laughs> on the rhino, that's on the right. Rhino, yeah. uh, Lori Barber says it's B for me again. Right on, Lori. <laughs> and the Gypsy and Vanilla Gorilla have joined us. These are also new hey, friends Gypsy, of ours. Hey, Vanilla Gorilla. Hey, you guys. And they absolutely want to go ca- kayaking with the sharks. But see, we know what kind of daring people they are. Yeah, they were so, playing putt putt golf the other day. I, I know, right? Yeah. Uh, and Lol Jones. <laughs> thanks says, for joining us. Thanks for joining us, guys. We hope you have fun playing. <laughs> Lol Jones says B. Aaron says we got to put up with Aaron's answer here. Aaron's answer is there's all sorts of stuff with sharks out there already. Nothing for rhinos. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Aaron. You can go where else can you ride a rhino, right? All right, yeah, oh. let's go ride a rhino, yeah. Oh. oh, Becky says, I've never kayaked before. Well, this is a fine <laughs> place to go kayaking for your first time. <laughs> I've never kayaked before. Hey, a kayak with the shot. You know, hey. That's I've, great. I we, love it. we have gone, um, we've rode piggyback on Godzilla through Cozumel. And oh, if so- you haven't seen our other game shows, go back and check them out. You'd be surprised at the crazy stuff we've done. So if we if we're gonna ride Godzilla through Cozumel, I'm definitely gonna go on the Rhino. I mean, come on. I know, right? Okay. And the Lori Barber is too funny, Aaron. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, we gotta put Aaron's back up here again. Yeah, put Aaron's back up there. There's yeah. all sorts of sharks up there. Yeah, the sharks. <laughs> not may, enough rhinos. The sharks may go after that seal or just that not enough rhinos. Fish, but yeah, they may leave you alone. But. Oh my gosh! Oh jeez. We ready for your uh, next question? I'm ready. Turn the fan on I'm gonna turn already. the fan on. Okay, Eddie, get our slashes up there. But, oh wait, let's see what the gypsies and, and the gorillas. Say. Oh, I thought we were picking the one we haven't done yet. <laughs> hey, gorilla. That's what I did. See, I've already listen. I've already rode with the sharks kayaking, and you know I got a souvenir. But uh, so I'm right. That's why I'm riding rhino. So you're right. We're going to pick the one we haven't done yet. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, only a gypsy and a gorilla would come up with that, right? I love the name. <laughs> I do too. I tell you what, they didn't have that name already. I'd be I'd be stealing oh. that name. Okay, turn, our turn next. Find out one more. Turn it down it's one too more. Loud. There you go. Okay, so one more. Here we go. Let's go for another question. Okay. Let's see what kind of silliness we got up here now. Who writes these questions anyway? <laughs> the answers only because you told me what to write oh that's right i wrote these questions <laughs> i don't even know what these crazy questions are well did Go you ahead. know at our port we have specialty food items that you can only get there like for instance a the raw cactus sandwich with clam sauce what's the point of the sandwich you ask yes try one and find out <laughs> okay the point i get it <laughs> it's a little slow on that one if you get it then you need to get the raw cactus sandwich that's it Choice number A, letter A. But hey, we got other choices. We got okay. B. You can also choose B, the tapeworm spaghetti surprise. And you may or may not be surprised by what's in this dish. <laughs> well, <sighs> because the because the whole gluten with me, if I eat gluten, causes sores in my mouth, I do not want to eat a raw cactus sandwich. So I am going all the way with tapeworm spaghetti surprise. So because of gluten, you're going to because go with the tapeworm gluten. spaghetti yes. surprise. <laughs> going to be gluten in A. I can't have gluten, so, so I'm going to go with B. What would a diabetic choose out of this, do you think? <laughs> can't have sugar, so let's see, I got to limit my carbs. Um, oh. I'm doing the keto diet. I'm going to... I which one are you going to pick, though? Which one are you going to pick? I've already told you my answer. And you picked the raw cactus sandwich. No, you no, picked I the picked tapeworm. tapeworms. Well, I guess I'll be daring. I don't really get the point of this sandwich. I guess I'll have to eat one to find out what it is. <laughs> Well, I'm going with a. Holly's going to be eating that sandwich with you. Me and right on, Holly. Meg's going to be eating tapeworm spaghetti with me. Eddie says A. The Gaylord says A. Mark says B. <laughs> Meg says, I mean, surprises are mostly fun, right? <laughs> mostly. <laughs> you got a squeaky front with me. 
I, I would have to say that you probably would not be able to tell the tapeworm from the spaghetti pieces. Uh, Law Jones says, love how you do your own retraction. <laughs> hey, we can do anything here at Sea Lake Journeys, That's right? right. Uh, yeah. uh, Traveler Bus says, A. Hey, Alice says, I'm going to the buffet tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alice, tune in next week and find out what's on the buffet for our Halloween special. <laughs> oh, so Tony says, A, uh, the gypsy and gorilla. Look, look at this. Mm, clam, clam wind wine sauce. sauce. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, right? You got to go with the clam sauce. Oh, because they think it has wine in it. <laughs> I'm sure you can purchase a wine package on the, on the port right there. Oh, yep. <laughs> Lol Jones says she fears the gluten. Right? I do. I fear the gluten. The gluten yes, right. absolutely. Absolutely. It's some scary stuff. Lori Barber says, definitely B, I can lose weight while I eat. <laughs> I did not even think of that. The tapeworm surprise. Surprise, I lost 15 pounds on my cruise. I lost 15 pounds on my cruise. Oh, good grief. Everybody be like, I've got to book me that cruise. Oh, gosh. Aaron says A. Law says A. Becky says, I'm a picky eater. So <laughs> 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 Oh, at least you didn't put a prickly, prickly, oh, picky eater. She's a prickly, picky, picky eater. Oh, my goodness. Alice, that, hold on. That gets, a, that gets a squeak, too. Alice is just, oh, no. Lori <laughs> says the tapeworms are the pasta. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> All right, wait a minute, y'all. My face is hurting. Uh, uh, let me take a sip of my drink. My face Everybody, hurts, so she's going to have another drink of margarita. It's, my face hurts from laughing. Everybody take a toast. I have monster drink tonight. Yeah, because you need more energy. Clearly not sponsored, obviously. Oh, good grief. Okay, right. we got to move on to the next one now. Okay, here it goes. Okay, we're at number six, I think. I don't know. I don't have them numbered. All right. Oh, other specialty foods. If you didn't get enough to eat from our previous question, we got more food for you. <laughs> How about option A, the stuffed ghost peppers with hot sauce? If you like hot and spicy... This one's probably for you. Stuffed ghost peppers with hot sauce. Think about it. Or you can go with B. It's the mystery meatloaf with sea bean salad. The real mystery is that some people are actually going to eat this. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, my gosh. Uh, All right. Let's... So do you like hot food or uh, do you like mysteries in your food? Yes, Aaron hey, Smith. We have face breaks to take a drink. <laughs> face break. Take a drink. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Hold on, hold on. Aaron gets a squeaky throat. Well, that's a good one. Um, cheers. Lori says cheers. <laughs> so Holly says B, no fan. Not She's not a fan of spicy foods. Oh, and you, by the way, I did make these questions especially for you, Law Jones. <laughs> Traveler Bus says, are you nursing that drink, girl? Do it. Uh, well, listen, I guess maybe I am. How, how, some, oh, we're only half hour into the show. This is like a 48 ounce cup right here. <laughs> she's only. Okay, baby. <laughs> it's okay, baby. Don't speed it up. Okay, try our bus. Oh, mm. The gay lords say B. Gay Mark say B. says B. And Meg's answer. Uh, hashtag not sponsored, but should be. <laughs> We're all about monsters around here. Meg, I will drink to that. <laughs> and we love the zero calorie monster as well. Eddie says B. Alice says B. Meg says B. Travel or bust. Loves a good ghost pepper. And, and just think about it, a stuffed ghost pepper, and not just a stuffed ghost pepper, but with hot sauce. No, stuff. <laughs> Law Jones. Uh, oh, none for me, thanks. I had a big lunch. <laughs> <laughs> See, we have to have either a drink break for our faces or a squeaky break to catch our breath. There so you go. Now you know what that's all about. All right, you got to read these checks. Lori Barber says, yep, sea beans for me. Thumbs up, everybody. Thank oh, you, Mark. Thank, thank you, Mark. Mark. Shark. Traveler bus. That was the point, that right? That was the point. That was the point. They catch on fast. They're <laughs> yes, not, they do. They're not slow puppies. They got some sharp minds out there. <laughs> the gypsy and the vanilla gorilla say, hey, I know, I what, know that what that is. is. <laughs> He don't like mysteries in his food. <laughs> oh. And Aaron says, I bet newborn cruiser foreman Kenny Oaks would go, hey. hey yes, I bet he would. 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 Hey, Kenny, try this. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, uh, Holly there. says, my sons would go for the peppers. Uh, I would too, Holly. Not me. I ain't going for the peppers. Did, no way. Did I give my answer? I, I, I'm you the pepper. did. You said pepper. Uh, oh, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Dainty, ain't I? Oh, so Meg says, he would at Aaron Smith. Can't wait to see his first taste test. I know, right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, tell him to come on our game show. <laughs> Just Mark the Shark says, bring the heat, baby. Bring we the heat. Got you covered, Mark. Got you covered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right on, Mark. <laughs> Meg says, we got him to try some interesting oh, things. Okay, great, great. Yeah, we'll so those of that. you that may not know, um, they're talking about Kenny. The Ford um, man. The Ford man. He is going on his not only his first cruise ever, but his first really big trip, I think, ever first in his time whole seeing life. The ocean. First time seeing the ocean. Yeah. There, he's going to be going to Disney when they get back. He has a lot of first. So, and he's going to be doing the chef's table for the first time, eating some new foods he's never had. Yeah. It's he, exciting. It's going to take him a week to recover when he gets home. Yes. And so just throwing this out there, that's the down under cruisers. They do fundraisers for people that have uh, may not ever get to go on a cruise. And uh, we all pitched in and um, yes, uh, made of, sure that Kenny had a great cruise. A lot of people um, pitched in and, and made it possible. Yes. So we're glad to be a part of that. And so that's why Meg is all about, you know, uh, we got him to try some new things, you know, so, it, and we're all excited for him. We've been watching his little shorts, you know, where he got the airport and got stuck at the airport and then <laughs> he made it to the hotel and all that. So, um, what a yeah. trip. Mm -hmm. It's an adventure of a lifetime. It is. It really is. He'll be exhausted when he gets back. Yeah. Read these chats. Uh, Lori says, sea beans will help me poop some worms. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. No. Okay, Lori gets up. For that. <laughs> no. Oh, that was just wrong in so many ways. I love it. More ways than I care to say. I love it. You know, and, most, most of my favorite people in life are here tonight. Oh, uh, the geez, Gypsy yeah, and Vanilla Gorilla Kenny. say, yes, we, yes, love, we Kenny. love Kenny. Don't too. we all? I think everybody loves Kenny. Yes. Okay. So what's our next question? Oh, number seven. Our port also delivers on specialty drinks. Okay. Oh, you guys. Hey, you're going to love this one, guys. Hey, the Daredevil Shotgun. It's a mug of sea snake venom followed by a shot of anti-venom. Those who survive this say it's so tasty that it's worth the risk. <laughs> Wait a minute. Those that survive? <laughs> yeah. Some people have not survived this drink before? Yeah, because see, you're drinking a whole mug of sea snake venom, and then you're going to follow it with a shot of anti-venom. And if you survive, they say it's worth it's worth the risk, guys. You may oh, want to try this drink. I think I need to hear what the mudslinger is. <laughs> I, yeah, I know some people are going to like B. B is the mudslinger. It tastes like a mudslide with the effects of a laxative. <laughs> not for those with tapeworms. <laughs> not, so not if we had the tapeworm <laughs> spaghetti surprise, we should not have the mudslinger. No, because then you're losing your dietary effects and you won't lose those 15 pounds on this cruise. <laughs> Okay. Right. Well, I think even though I did have the spaghetti with the tapeworms, I think I'm going to be the safest going with the mudslinger, even though I may be cramping and sitting on the toilet for a really long time. Well, you know, this sounds like probably the second dumbest thing you could ever do after that rhinoceros ride. So I'm, <laughs> I'm going with the daredevil shotgun. Plus, I get two drinks for the price of one. Two drinks for the price of one. I get a mug of snake venom and a shot of anti venom. Who's going wrong? Okay. So Eddie is going with option number C. Option that means <laughs> hey, that's good because C is both. Eddie just drank both of these. So if the anti venom's not working good enough, that 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 what's that other drink there? The uh, the mudslinger, mudslinger might might just work that poison right out of you, Eddie. And Paul has dropped in. Hi, Paul. Hey, so nice to see you. The PSV Odyssey. PSV Odyssey. He helps us keep on track through his Facebook and YouTube That's page right. so we know what's going on mm -hmm. in YouTube. That's right. So Ollie's, Holly says A. The Gaylord say B. Tony says B. Mark the Shark says A. Um, says a. Let's see. Let me scroll the chat here so I can Fuck. see. Um, they, okay. The Gypsy and Gorilla, there's two of them. So, hey, they want one of each. <laughs> and I, I think I've followed these guys long enough to know that they mean one of each for both of for them. Both of them. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> not, not the not, split. Yeah. But <laughs> if he spills the one on his beard, though, it may it may eat his hair and his beard away. The, oh, he ain't spilling. He, he's not gonna spill on his beard. <laughs> Girl can handle his beard, right? Here you go. Uh, Meg says, "I am suddenly abstaining from alcohol." <laughs> <laughs> suddenly, just suddenly. Wow, you want to quit drinking? Go on this cruise. There you go. <laughs> Aaron Smith says, what? No fireball in the daredevil shotgun? 
Well, we were thinking about that, but we figured that shot of sea snake venom would probably <laughs> probably just kill the effect of the fireball. So Traveler Bust, they're going to try the venom experience. And why not? Okay, well, you know what? You got to try it. It's your vacation. You, know? you get to pick. And Law says, okay, I'll have, I'll have the snake. I'll have the snake. Lori says, goes along with my tapeworm. <laughs> Sea beans, sea beans and now I'm a slinger. I'm in. <laughs> so Lori is going to be as big as my pinky finger by the time she gets home from this cruise. <laughs> what? She's going to be a stick child. <laughs> Instead of I lost 15 pounds a I lost 75 pounds on my cruise. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. I could lose 10 or 70 myself. Go ahead. Alice says I'm not a drinker and not starting now. I'm sticking with water. Okay. Hey, well, Alice, listen. There is absolutely no alcohol involved in uh, either one of these drinks. That's true. There was. That's true. There well, was. There's no. These are non-alcoholic drinks. So so you're okay. So Becky's going B only because she didn't eat the tapeworms. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's never too late to go back and get yourself what you want. Oh, so Holly says that uh, Lori, she's just a wild child. She's just wild all the way. She's a wild child. She is. I'm glad she found her channel because she's been a lot of fun to interact with. Yeah, you. and even though we know that she's going to be as big as brown as my pinky finger when she gets off this cruise. We I'm going her. to, too, because I'm going to fall around. I'm going to say, what you eating, Lori? You eating that? I'll have what she's having. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's see what Meg says here. Hold on, Meg says. Dang, and then I drank some alcohol to wash it down. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, okay, here we go. Best answer of all, kangaroo on that one. <laughs> Mark the shark, you get you get a double squeaky. <laughs> kangaroo. Oh, if you don't know what kangaroo. that is, check out some of our previous shows. And, uh, yep, and if yep. you wonder what kangaroo means, I don't know. Don't know. Don't. Okay, what's our next oh, one? Oh, the next one. Are you ready for the next yep, question? Ready. Oh, yeah. We have exclusive entertainment at our port. And our music features A, Medusa and the Stone Pillars, bringing you the best in hard rock. Ooh. Did anybody catch that? I did. Medusa and the Stone Pillars, bringing you the best in hard rock. I had to say it again <laughs> because I thought I was being really creative when I made that up. <laughs> okay. Or B, if you don't like hard rock, then you got B, Dr. Seuss's, not to be confused with that other guy that wrote books, okay? Dr. Seuss's. Oop oop a losers. That's right. Get down to their funky, unique sound. Gosh, this is a tough one for me because I love rock and roll, but I'm always a sucker for a unique sound. Well, you know, they ah, have some unique instruments, you know, those yeah. quadruple lapuninkas, or, you know, uh, it's almost as much fun to watch it as, as it is to I think I'm to. going with I think I'm going with It's a tough decision for me, too. But, man, Medusa and the Stone Pillars. Somebody's going to name their band that way if they watch this. There There's you going go. To be like, There's going to be a rock band named Medusa and the Stone Pillars. You watch. So Alice says B. Let's hold on. Let me let me do this. Alice says B. She wants Eddie, that funky sound. She does. She likes funky sound. Uh, Eddie says B. Cruise Net says B. Uh, Lori Barber says bad joke. Uh, bad joke. <laughs> the Gay Lauren says B. Uh, Lori's groaning <laughs> over there. Holly uh, says B. Meg says A. Law says A. Mark says A. Travel or bust. We are rockers at hall at heart. So it's Medusa. Night. There you go. There you go. Cruise Nut says my wife says sometimes <laughs> I'm a <laughs> oopa oopa loser. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lori, she's going Your wife, the, Tracy gets that for you. The okay. oopa <laughs> And the Gypsy and Vanilla Gorilla B. I love that. Love funk. that. Gotta love that funk. Love that, love that funk, baby. Love that funk. Love that funk, baby. Love that funk. <laughs> what is Aaron saying? I don't even know what this is. That's from rock and roll, man. Oh, okay. I didn't you know, catch, rock concerts. I didn't catch the. Post. Get the horns up, especially if you're Ronnie James Dio. <laughs> Ronnie James Dio, Judas Priest, any of that okay. good stuff, right? I, I remember doing that, but I just didn't. That's not what the emoji didn't look like. That to you've me. done at the concerts. You were just, mm -hmm. yeah, you just don't remember. And Becky says she loves Oompa Loopas too. Oompa Loopa Loopas. Oompa Loopa 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 Loopa. They do have a funky Oompa sound. Oompa Loopa Loopa Loopa. But listen, we're not limiting you to those those yeah. two bands. We've got yeah. more music on our island. We do uh, on our port, I should say. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like for instance, we have a Cats in the Cradle, bringing you the best sounds of feline opera. Anywhere, only available Ooh. after 11 p.m. I do like me a good cat song. Well, there you go. You got Cats in the Cradle bringing you the best sounds of feline Maybe. opera. You know, <laughs> they do it a lot better than me, though. 
Or, hey, you got option B here. Okay. You got the broken tractor band. Listen to the finest that country music has to offer. We're not sure what country, though. I, I do like country music. I know you're not a big fan of country music. I like country music, but well, keep in mind, we, we're not sure what country it is. Though. Yeah, I am a sucker for a good cat call, though. You know, I, I kind of miss the cats yelling on the fence myself. Ah! <laughs> we used to have one. <laughs> we used to have a cat. And he'd go. Ah! Oh, yeah. Ah! It's like a lion out there. I was like, oh, my God, what is that? And I go, that's our cat. Oh. <laughs> so cruise nuts say A. Gaylord say B. Um, Holly says she's a dog person, so she's going with B. <laughs> Mark the Shark says B. Person. Eddie says B. Paul says B. Alice says B. Meg says B. Thanks for the demonstration. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Meg. <laughs> and Sammy says would disown us if, but go ahead. Sammy would disown us if we didn't choose A. So That's they the cat. have a cat. Yeah. Yes. He's going to join in the opera. Eddie has to do cats too. Otherwise, his cats would kick him out. You know, Eddie's well. got two cats. You know, they can sing some opera. And Roy and Becky's Travels dropped in. Hi, guys. So Hi, nice Roy to Becky. have you with us tonight. Hi. Oh, let's see. So the gypsy and the gorilla, they're going with the broken track. They they're like, local. <laughs> they, look, they look like they look like they would have a local band called Broken Tractor. Is there really a band called Broken Tractor Band? <laughs> well, we have what's that band we have here? The um Toe Jam Toe Band. Jam band. We yeah, have a Toe yeah, Jam yeah. Band here. Wow, I thought it was going. All right, you're gonna have to read okay, these. Lori says read I may have to choose if the cats or Siamese, they make the best sounds. Well, that's true. There are some Siamese in this opera, but there's many different cats too. Maine Coon. There you go. Tiger Tip Tabby. Uh, oh, Becky says, I can't believe your dog isn't barking. I, you know, one is asleep. He's down here asleep. One of them. And we don't know what the other one is. The other one's is. out there asleep. So the reason that the reason that we're having a really calm night tonight is because you know, one is on a diet to lose weight and getting more exercise, and the other one is supposed to be gaining weight. So we're having to mm -hmm. feed the one that is supposed to be gaining weight while basically sitting on your lap. And so he quit throwing up. I think he's getting enough food now and he's, his stomach's not making him throw up. I don't know. I think it's weird, but whatever. We and don't that, know. We're not. Fans. And the fat one, I think he's mad because he's having to lose weight. So he's out in the front room. Uh, Becky <laughs> says B. Aaron, here we go. B, like the internet says, the older you get, the more devastating cats in the cradle becomes. <laughs> right? Right? I know. Indeed. Uh, do we have more questions? Oh, we do. Yes, oh, we do. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's go to number ten. Now, listen, we have we have show productions okay. at our port also. Okay, so you get to choose which one we're going to feature tonight. Is it going to be A, Romeo and Juliet, the zombie version? Two people so in love they are liter literally falling to pieces. <laughs> That's right. A which is pieces are they falling? <laughs> Yeah, that's the question we really don't want to know the answer to, is it? <sighs> Romeo and Juliet, the zombie version. Two people so in love, they are literally falling to pieces. Or you got an option here, and I think uh, I know somebody's going to like this one. B, dogs, not cats. Now, notice the way that's spelled. Because this dogs, not cats, featuring Snoop himself. That's right. The hit Broadway show Cats absolutely cannot compare to dogs. Not so, cats. and I asked him, I said, are you sure you want me to spell dogs that way? Because I didn't know what the questions were. And he's like, yes, yes, spell that way. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. So I think I'm, I got to put the answers back up there because I didn't forgot. Romeo, oh, I don't like zombies though. I really don't like zombies. And I really don't like dogs, Snoop Dogg either. But I'm going to have to pick B, I guess, because I'd rather he, listen to him. At least I can put earplugs in. I have to see the zombies fall apart. Well, no, even if you don't really enjoy the show, you're probably going to enjoy, enjoy everything that's going on around you at Snoop Dogg. There you go. <laughs> so Eddie says A. The gorilla says B. I don't even have to think about it. <laughs> uh, the Gaylords say A. Meg says A because it sounds like so much fun. Holly says yeah. A, B, Mark says B, Alice says A, Traveler Bus says A, Aaron says B, Lowell Jones says oh, B, put that the there. smell is better. The smell is better. <laughs> you no, know, didn't even think about that. It's totally going to be a totally different smell, that's for sure. <laughs> I didn't even think about the smell of zombies. So Lori Barber says A, Cruise Nuts says A. 
Wow, that was. Oh I'll my tell you what, gosh! I'll tell you, we've had some good entertainment though on this uh, port, haven't we? We have. <laughs> This is, this oh, is and Becky great... says B. Becky's with the dogs, not the cats. Dogs, not mm -hmm. cats. What a great show that would be. Uh, but hey, we got other activities on the port too. Okay. Y'all ready for the activities? All right, let's go for it. This one kind of just follows right along with this one. I try to make these questions kind of follow together as best I can. And uh, so the first uh, activity you have is A, guess what Bonzo ate? Bonzo... And that's not Ringo. <laughs> Bonzo the chimp eats anything. You get to search through his scat and try to figure out what he ate. Oh, and there's a note here. No gloves are allowed due to eco-friendly regulations. <laughs> so we're going to we're gonna be searching through scat with no gloves because of eco-friendly regulations. That's right. We can't have rubber gloves laying around the ground for animals to get a hold of. Oh, let's hear what B is. Okay. I'm not excited about A at the moment. Not excited about A. No. Well, we have options. We have B here. It's called, what's that smell? <laughs> Wait, 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 hold on one. Hold on one. Do that again. It's called, what's that smell? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one is a great activity. Look, you get to sit in a dark and closed room with a small group of the other cruisers. Then take a whiff and then take a guess. <laughs> so it's other cruisers yeah, well, that we're going to be smelling? <laughs> no, they're going to put other smells in there with you. But oh, okay. It's more fun in a dark, crowded environment where your clothes all tight up like that right so anyway there's two versions of this game right there's the the unpleasant and the really unpleasant so okay well i think i'm gonna play it safe and i'm gonna go with guess what bonzo ate because <laughs> that sounds a lot safer oh, a lot safer digging around through monkey poo has got to be you know a lot more fun than you know I, I like to figure out what that smell is because you think me too yeah, okay, so let's see what the chat has to say. Whoops, 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 whoops. Because oh, I'm thinking, shoot. I'm thinking I'm gonna go. Oh yeah, that's that left. That's a recycled food. Okay, so the cruise nets say B. Law Jones. This is look what Law Jones says. I hope I have a refundable deposit on this cruise. Okay, we told you the rules when we started. It said life and travel insurance is highly recommended. Policies can be purchased at the short excursion desk. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Choose your answer wisely. So do you really think we're going to give you back a deposit refund? I don't think so. Oh, no deposit. Uh, no deposit. No law. You have to come with us now. <laughs> Paul says he's out. I'm out. <laughs> uh, Eddie, Eddie's greedy. He wants to do them both. He's like, this is both. They great. They sound great. This is awesome. Well, you know, hey, why not? And it's the, your vacation. You the can gypsy and the grill, like they're going with what's that what's smell, that? baby? <laughs> Holly says A. Gaylord says B. Travel or bust. I have not had my time as a nurse. I'm I've done my time as a nurse. I'm retired. So she's going to go with B then. What's she that smell? Gonna <laughs> she's going to know exactly what the smells are. She's going to win that game. Yeah. Uh, Meg oh, says, that smells room 213. <laughs> <laughs> A patient I had last week. Uh, Meg says B. Eddie says ask the dog ask the group. Dog group. <laughs> uh, Alice says B. Lori Barber. What did she say here? I felt a little with the tapeworms and sea beans and mud slingers. And now you're going to go. <laughs> <laughs> remember let's get this let's, let's get this straight lori had we just i love you girlfriend i love you so much yeah let's review I it do, lori I am, here, i'm okay? so sorry i've just got to i've got to do this lori i love you so much you had the tapeworm spaghetti yeah and the mud slinger yeah. drink with the soybean salad yeah she's gonna she's gonna be one of the contestants in the what smell is that <laughs> yeah, the, the the crew that put the smell in the box are gonna be like, that's not the smell we put in there. What is that smell? Is that? <laughs> that's oh, awesome. Oh my goodness, we love you, Lori. We that's love right. you. It's yes. all in fun, baby girl. All in fun. Hey, and this so is great. The, this um, is the cruise nuts. Here we go. Cruise nuts say hello at the Gypsy and the Vanilla Gorilla. Just sub to you. Oh yay! Thank hey, you. Hey, that's right. We got some channels in here. Check them out. Subscribe to them if you would, please. 
Uh, everybody in here is great. We love them all. Uh, we, we're we subscribed to every channel you yes. see in here. And so, Meg, I don't know if very many people know um, the Gypsy and the Vanilla Gorilla. If you would put their link up in the chat, that would be awesome. That way, anyone else that would like to um, discover their channel, that would be great. Aaron Smith says, you got to read this What Aaron says. Oh, yeah. Aaron says, no gloves make sense. Already enough plastic crap in the sea. <laughs> Exactly, Aaron. See, we're trying to protect the environment here, okay? And Meg's like, who invited that guy to be? <laughs> <laughs> Becky says, me. Oh, Chris Nutt says, what's the smell? Escape. Escape. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Escape. Oh, my gosh. You got to lean to the side when you say that. Escape. Escape. And so there's a link for the gypsy and the vanilla gorilla. Gorilla. Vanilla gorilla. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So my drink is going down. You got to read this chat. Okay. Mm. The Gaylords ask, how did Jody do? She's the one that's been playing tonight. Well, she's been fantastic. She's John. been fantastic. Fantastic. She's jumped on the board with everything. John, John, she, she just, she's been wonderful. She even earned a squeaky for you. She did. If I remember right. Yeah. Here we go. Read this. Oh, gypsy and the vanilla gorilla say it's right. Sea bean floral. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that sounds like a perfume. Oh, uh, Roy and Becky goodness. say howdy to the vanilla, to the vanilla gorilla. gorilla. Oh, are you? Oh, you all are very, very kind. kind. Oh, there. that's just for, uh, yeah, okay. Yes, and yes. Paul, uh, whoops, whoops, whoops. The chat just jumped. Paul sub to the gypsies and vanilla gorilla. There you go. Um, let's see. Uh, Jody rocks. Yes, she does, Meg. Jody rocks. Uh, the then. Roy and Becky Travels say the Gypsy and the Vanilla Gorilla have a j great channel. Yes, they do. They have an awesome channel. We actually discovered them on the Raid Parade. Yep, and um, the Vanilla Gorilla there too. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, that's what, I'm talking, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, the yeah. Vanilla well, Grill. the RV too. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Roy and, and Roy and Becky Travels. Right? Yes, we discovered them on the Raid Parade too. So if you've not seen the Raid Parade, <laughs> um, the Raid Parade is every Friday. The Pre-party starts at 1 o'clock yep. Eastern time, and then there is a video, and we pop from video to video to video to video, and then at the end, there is an after party. And we'll be in it again this week. And they made Law Jones a moderator. That's right. They did. They gave Law the blue wrench. And Mark thinks I need to drink up. Does he really? Well, we got two more questions here. Okay. Two more for you. Ready? Hold on. Drink up, Robin, Mark says. I'm trying. I'm working on it. Mark's trying to help a brother out. Help a brother out. Okay, here we go. Okay, we have other activities also. For instance, A, shaving a tiger. I mean, why not? You've drank the daredevil shotgun and survived. Why not give this a go? And B, the one foot wonder. You put both feet into a pit of murky water after placing your bet on which foot will be bitten first. You can double your bet by guessing what it is that's biting you. <laughs> Oh, by the way, this game is rigged for me to win. I <laughs> guess which foot are you going to put in? <laughs> I think I'm going to be playing the one foot wonder. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play the one foot wonder. Well, you don't want to play shaving a tiger? No, I'd rather put the, play the one foot wonder. That's one of those games where nobody has ever won, but somebody's like, well, I'm going to be the one who wins. <laughs> So if you're that kind of person, like nobody's ever won that game, but you're like, I ah, know I can win. Okay. That game's for you. But for me, <clears throat> my game is rigged for me. So. All right. So Eddie or um, Holly says A. The Gaylord say A. The Cruise Nuts say A. Traveler Bus says A. Mark A. Alice A. Meg B. Law A. Lori Barber says B because she's a gambler, baby. And uh, Travel or Bus says here, kitty, 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 here, kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> Well, let me tell you. And uh, um, the Gypsy and Vanilla Gorilla, they say that the Red Parade, Parade, it's a lot of fun. It really is. We met some awesome people by being part of the Raid Parade. Yeah, the chat goes goes good in there. Hold on a second. Let me get this off of here. Also, while that, I want to make a note on these two games now that mm -hmm. you've already picked. But uh, there's a note here. It says, play at your own risk after signing legal waivers. And uh, with these two games, Shaving a Tiger and One Foot Wonder, you can actually win prizes, like oh. the plastic port on a stick. There you go. A cheap bottle of champagne or low-cost medical attention by the local witch doctor. <laughs> if you want some of that low-cost... We should have had that as a question. Which would you rather have? Okay, wait a minute. We're going to come back to that. Hold that. Hold that thought. <laughs> okay. Um, so Aaron says, 
can't win if you ain't in it. That's right, Aaron. You can't win if you ain't in it. That's right. Here we go. Read this. Um, the Gypsy and Vanilla Gorilla say, hey, I have tried that already. Well, it was Tammy, but close enough. <laughs> 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 oh! Paul says, Squeaky. B. Uh, Paul says B. Okay, so uh, <laughs> this is not a question that I have on a slide, so we're just going to have to do this without the slide. Oh, yeah. Which uh, prize would you rather win? Which one would you rather win? A plastic port on a stick mm -hmm. or low-cost medical attention by the local witch doctor? So I think I'm going to go with the med the witch doctor. I think I'd really like to know what, if he can cure my gluten. <laughs> Come my gluten issue. Well, you think the witch doctor can clear, clear my he, gluten He might issue? could, you know. You never, you, you know it's, it's probably better than acupuncture. <laughs> so Law Joe says he's taking the witch doctor. But Aaron is going to take the port on a stick in the free health care. <laughs> okay, so wait a it's not free. It's low cost. Okay, I was going to say, is it? Uh, maybe I shouldn't say that. Well, maybe gonna, if you bought the insurance. I was going to say, is it Obamacare? But I should, probably shouldn't no, say that. Well, he doesn't say it now, I mean. <laughs> It's, it's good. It's, it's low cost insurance, but really high deductible. Ah, uh, there we go. Here we go. Uh, legs, just legs, and armpits. <laughs> laugh out loud. <laughs> so Holly's going A, Meg's going with B. Paul, a good witch doctor, is hard to find. So he's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been looking for a while, Paul. Hey, they are oh, tough. And he says A. Alice says B. Mark says B. The gorilla, vanilla gorilla says B. The gay lords say A. All right, so back to the slides. Okay, back to the slides. Here we go. Our Wait, poor... let, let Eddie get the slashes up. Oh, Eddie's getting the slashes up. Eddie doing a great job for Eddie. being a, a, a brand new moderator. Fantastic. And not right now, Meg, but before we get out of the game, I want you to put up the links for your moderator classes. Let's see what Lori Barber says here real quick. Yeah. Lori Barber, I'm going to need the witch doctor, but I do like solid gold port on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually just solid gold painted plastic port on a stick <laughs> don't know where we got that idea from okay next one the next one is there's only two questions left okay okay our port has a spa with exclusive treatments Ooh, do you like a spa day at our port i'm sure you will with options like this a the leech pool try this revolutionary exotic toxin removal technique book it for toxin a half day. removal technique book it for a half day or a full okay. day Yes, that leech pool. It's a revolutionary. Book it for a half day or a full day. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's toxin removal technique, okay. right? Somebody's going to want to try that. Yep. Uh, B, this is your other option. If you don't like the leech pool, you can go to monkey grooming. Let our monkeys pick those lice and fleas out of your hair and off your body. Price is based per monkey per hour. Well, I know I don't have lice, so I'm going with the monkeys only because I let... Ooh, <laughs> we'll be back after this commercial message. <laughs> I'm going monkeys all the way. You know I'm going monkeys. Well, I was going to go to the leash pool, but after that demonstration, <laughs> if that demonstration did not sell you on the monkey. Uh, so Holly's going to monkeys. Paul's going to monkeys. Cruise Nuts, they're doing both. They do going to both. They, yeah, they say, both. see, they're doing both. Both. You. Um, Quickie for the cruise nuts. Here we go. Mark the shark says, Oh my god, I take a day because I sure hell don't want no flying monkeys <laughs> peeing on, on me. The <laughs> <laughs> flying monkeys peeing on everybody. Mark the shark. That was another game show we had. Oh, that geez. is awesome, brother. We love that. Alice says, B. The gypsies say, Off talk it. Talk. Off. I off can't topic. Even say it. Off topic. Did anyone else know today is Swedish Day? We did. Yes, we did, Lynn. We did. Because Tanisha, Tanisha from told Leonard us. Leonard Family Fun told mm -hmm. us this morning on our morning show. Yes. But thank you for that. Mm -hmm. The Gaylords are going with the monkeys. Eddie's going with the monkeys. Trouble or bust. They loved it. Some monkeys. They're going with the monkeys. Uh, the, <laughs> look at here. The Gypsy and the Vanilla Grill say, B, it's a daily chore. It's a daily chore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lori Barber's doing both because any day is a great spa day. She loves spa day no matter what. And the law Jones says that this show just got R rated. We're a family show. Come on. It's just monkeys picking, yeah. please. And here's, okay, here we go. As that couple coming on later says, y'all are free to do that amongst yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> And I uh, think we're going to save this last question for next week. No, we're going to do it now. It's Here a Halloween go. question. 
I threw it in there, but I, oh, okay. Well, whatever. Or should I? I don't know. It was part of this game. So like, read these chats. Oh, I'm with Lori on this one. Mark the shark says kangaroo, kangaroo people. people. Well, we are after we are past an hour, so and so I, yeah, we'll take this minute. other question because it's going to roll right into next week. Yes. So um, I hope Meg has her um, her links up here. She's ready to put her links up. Meg is going to be doing two videos which are basically workshops for new moderators and we mm. have two new moderators that's eddie lugo and excuse martin me lol jones, Lyle martin jones. Shark. I thought it was oh martin, martin shark. shark is too yeah. yeah martin shark and lol jones they're all moderators of ours and she's going to be doing some um workshops to help moderators learn learn how to moderate and what you're supposed to do and, and tonight we did not get any porn which is awesome we want to thank all the new before people. you close oh. out though mm -hmm. I, I wanted to let y'all know about these spa services we do take pride in our spa services they're not at all safe but after all this is your vacation that's right you picked this vacation so i had to put this slide up here because this slide program we're all about making sure that we don't do copyright infringements because the credit goes to the company that made the um the uh decoration on the slides yeah so the little graphics little, graphic the little graphics there. there they go that's how um, you do it folks you put the little things up there to so eddie it. says that he's looking forward to meg's um <clears throat> workshops so am i and, mm -hmm. here we go read these for me aaron says and the first ship into port is our Jolly Roger! Woo! You remember the Jolly Roger? All right. right that was the there. ship that we built. Right. That Speaking was a lot you. of fun. Boy, was that fun. Mm -hmm. what? Here we go. The Gypsy and the Vanilla Grill say, had fun tonight. And thanks, Meg. We need good mods. We, Very much yes. appreciated. Yes. And there's a lot of people that want to be moderators. They just don't know what it is, what, what to do. So, so we're going to learn. We're going to learn. We're going to learn it. Meg's yeah. going to learn them. Meg's going to learn us. Mm -hmm. And Law Jones says, hope your offerings help with phone, Meg. I'll bring the teacher an apple. There we go. Mm. And um, here's uh, the Gaylords. They want to join in as well. Yep. So um, what we're going to do on our Monday show, because Meg already has her um, her um, thumbnails up for the two classes that she's going to be doing. And I'm going to put them in our Monday show and I'm going to put them in our in our morning show. They'll be in the links every day this week um so that because we really want you guys to participate in her um workshop yes and we're going to be doing it as well because that's right you're gonna there's moderators are so important even in the raid parade this week um there was a channel that needed moderators they didn't have moderators they didn't even know what to do with the moderator and who how am i going to get a moderator so we only have a moderator for meg because i said to her hey i need a moderator i don't know what a moderator is she says i'll do it um so uh, we don't. We want to remind everyone that we have a morning show at eight o'clock Monday through Saturday. Saturday night's game night. We are uh, put videos up every Monday and Wednesday at six thirty, and on Fridays we are part of the raid parade. How about that? We want to thank everyone for coming out tonight. We hope that you had fun. We had fun. And don't forget, next Saturday at six o'clock, we're going to do our Halloween, Halloween show. Woo! Until next time, you guys, we'll see you around the channel. See you around the channel. <laughs> <laughs>